Ireland, era the Emerald Isle, island of saints and squalor, sinners and shinners, Celtic tigers, Celtic pups and Celtic supporters. Home of the 40 shades of green, not including the greenbacks, obviously. You're all very welcome to green tea. Terrorism has gone out of fashion in Ireland, so I suppose it's okay now to let a shinner up the oars. Sorry, okay. 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 Settle down, please. Now, we've made our decision that Curly McGuinness is going to run for Sinn Féin in the presidential election. Yes, it's not the first time he was running anyway, by the way. With respect, Curly is the perfect choice for president, having already spent a stretch in a big house, or at least prison, mind you, not ours or no to run. Jerry, did you consider any other candidates per se? Well, we thought of Michelle, but the response from the public and all of you in the media was Michelle Gilder who? Nice car can sit Jerry, the latest rumours that you considered Gaddafi as well, is that true? No, right? no, we couldn't locate Muammar, and anyway, we owe him a good few bob from our last run-in. So, <laughs> so Curly is going to take a shot at it. Well, to be fair, yeah. at least he won't bomb like Laura or so Moriku, if, if you pardon the expression. And Curly has promised... Oh. To put an arm a light, um, oh. I mean a candlelight in the window of the hours <laughs> for all our people. Have you got a slogan yet? Of course. What is it? Sinn Féin want votes. Right. Dead or alive. <laughs> Thank Jerry. you. No further Jerry. questions. Jerry. Two more. And Dublin have made it to their first All-Ireland final in 16 years. A long time coming for real. The big news, of course, is Paul Galvin has been named on the bench in Jack O'Connor's side. Brian Carthy has been named on the bench for the commentary team in Cork Park. Well, that's where you belong, Brian. You've been poor all year. That's my view. That's the mixed day we. Oh, the hard training is done. The pain is nearly over. And that's just Paul Galvin getting into his jeans. He's the man giving the team talk at the Canny Camp, 24 hours to throw in. He's the Galvanator, but can he galvanize his troops as they head towards the Coliseum inside the dump? I don't know what to say, really. I mean, seriously, like, you know, it's 24 hours before the biggest game of our lives. And most of you still aren't wearing the green and gold Christian Dior boxer shorts I give you with pink tassels. WTF, like. Now, I don't go on about myself, but I am the Galvanator, like. Yeah. I galvanize you all for the big game. Yeah. I've even prepared a war dance, like. Oh, yeah, it's a new thing, apparently. It's called the, um... It's called the hacker. It's cool. Like. All right. Now we're going to need percussion and gooch. I know you're not the most musically minded, but these are drums. Like. The harder you bang, the more noise they make. I'm sure I'll give my best in for Oh, it's quite good, actually, good. Will we go and fish hook the brogans, pal? Uh, that's not a bad idea, Shell. I'll go for the hacker, pal, dude. Fish We're the boys in the kingdom come. Forget your rocks and forget your scum. We win medals by the dozen. Then we go and marry our cousins. Fish hook, fish hook, fish hook, fish hook. Hack it Look out, you lady boys in blue. We'll bet the brogan's tucks in two. From Jolly to Listol. Mess with us, you get a kick in the hole. Oh. County is right behind us. Hope fake tan doesn't blind us. And with Brosnan in the backer. Come on, lads, do the Galvin Hacker. Hacker! <laughs> Jesus, coach, take it easy. You'll pick up an injury or something. They call it the technical group. A sexist, pig-headed, ragtag gang of inept independent TDs featuring Lord Ross, Mankey Ming and Mick Waffle. The banks won't leave me alone. Okay, just... gentlemen, gentlemen, oh. we have a proposal from oh. Senna Hoare, David Norris. Yeah. And no, he doesn't want to marry me. <laughs> Monumentally. <laughs> Thank you, That's Lord true. Ross. Yeah. And might I say, it's a real thrill for me to see so many members oh. of the doll. <laughs> please, please, there's no need to be upstanding. Uh, Although right, I do right. rather like it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mick Wallace, you are so pretty in pink. <laughs> what, what do you mean? like? You know, in ancient Greece, Deputy Wallace, yeah. an experienced man like me could take a raw young fellow like you and break you in gently into the mysteries of life. Oh yeah, yeah. we take a teensy winchy drop of ouzo as a stiffener and away we go. Oh, not too fond of that now, to be honest with you. What's wrong, Mick? Well, Would you like more meat on your moussaka? Well, I, I, I don't know. Like, with Anything to add, young Ming? Uh, Ming, we got... Uh, no, Senator, I, I have an awful dose of the munchies on me. Good. 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 <laughs> now, gentlemen, I'm here to seek your support rebuilding my political platform. Uh, building a political platform? 
for my arse. I, I, I'd love to see you last on, on an old building site. Oh, <laughs> oh, I do love the builder's crack. Huh? All those rippling muscles, those sweaty armpits. Do get to the point, <laughs> Senator Norris. This is more rambling than one of my son, the Indo columns. <laughs> Very good, Lord Ross. <laughs> now, there's some sort of horrible bog trotter called oh. Laura So Varaku who oh. now wants to run for the park and oh. turn it into some glorified Kaylee house. Dreadful, he's talking to Fina Fail as we speak. Oh. Heaven forbid, I'd be buggered if I'd let him get away with this. Oh. Naughty, naughty. Now, I was certain there would be a gay in the park, oh. and if there's anyone going to be dancing two-handed reels up the auras, oh. I want it to be me. <laughs> oh. oh, by the way, just don't tell anyone I was really born in the Belgian Congo, oh. and that I think the leaders of the Easter Rising were terrorists, oh. even though Pierce was a bit of a dish. What? <laughs> we won't be bringing oh. that up for the centenary fellows, will we? Oh. Um, Th that's queer bad. Am I stoned, lads? Toodle! Monumental! <laughs> How is Barty here? Liquidation auction of the century by order of Herman von Rompuy and John Claude Trinkets. One off opportunity to acquire at knockdown prices holiday homes such as Farm Lee House or the K Club. Don't miss the chance to snap up prime development sites at the Burn, Newgrange, and the Rock of Cashel. And we've colouring books for the kids. Let the chisers add their own touches to the book of cows. Coming to the market soon, the sale of Jury's Hotel site in Balls Up Bridge with new planning d -d done and dusted. <laughs> All lots handled by Kenny Gilmore Auctioneers, Kildare Street. Legal advisors, Mariarty, Flood and McCracken. And remember, when these assets are gone, they're gone. All currencies accepted. And tell them Bertie sent you. Sadly, due to ongoing issues over title, a fine property at St. Luke's Drum Condor must be withheld from auction. Aside from Tom McGurk's tatty, gaudy suits and his dandruff demeanour, Dandy Dan Carter and the Rugby World Cup are still top of my homepage. Okay, Hooky, your views on that performance. Well, Tom, they never really got a handle on the game. Right. And it was just as well we the Limerick man in the thick of the scrum. I mean, what else could have happened, eh, Dopey? It's Popey, but yeah, in fairness, George, he used all of his experience and weight as a forward. And yeah. I've never seen some of those tactics before, you know, the yeah. rolling over, the readjustment and the tightening of the supply. I just think his coordination, the way he held the line, and just the way he leveraged all of his strength was phenomenal. Yeah, by the way, what was the final score in the Australia Ireland game? What? I don't know. I was too busy watching Bali Noon and at the EU finance meeting in Poland. Phenomenal performance. Yeah. Yeah, the story in Poland is bigger implications, Tom. Ah, well, I suppose that's what RT get for making us watch the World Cup in the Montrose Canteen. Too right. Instead yeah. of sending us to New Zealand. Well, they do a great nosebag here, Tom. Welcome to the adventures of Dr. Queen. Today's episode, Inspector Clueless. Another chapter from the sensational case files of the great amateur detective, Dr. Gerald Queen. Sorry, I mean Keen. The smoke-stained door of the Flea Britain downtown office was ajar, so I walked in, my loud, double-breasted lapels flapping. I was searching for my luscious Lisa's most precious jewels. They'd been stolen in the night after she popped them into a glass before going to sleep. I couldn't wait to get my hands on uh, the dastardly thieves. Well, I suppose I reinvented myself as a pseudo-vigilante. But anyway, Lisa's previous fiancé, Michael O'Flatley, had gifted her two magnificently big, beautifully shaved jewels. Thank God it didn't take my crown jewels. I want Lisa to have my babies, you see. <coughs> but I'm on the hunt for the stolen boo bo baubles. So if you've seen them in passing, please tip me off at stolenbreaths at yahoo.com. Thank you. And you know when I moved to Wicklow at 12 years of age, my parents insisted I keep my cock accent all the way through. In the UK, Prime Minister David Cameron has Westminster. In Ireland, Taoiseach Inda has Wishminster. Right, lads, I am the Taoiseach, and in this new doll term, I want some respect. Now, what do you think of these pence? <laughs> 
Oh, Priest, Noonan, what's the latest on the crisis? These are the worst set of figures I've ever seen. But oh. enough about Tuberty. Thomas Gilbor, what are you doing about Greece, huh? <clears throat> I just need to consult my spin doctor, end if you're oh, hell, my... lads. It's like dealing with a dummy. The angry man is now the quiet man. Good <laughs> <laughs> one, Brenda. <laughs> Where's Dicey Riley? Uh, it's Octa Riley. Oh, yeah. I dropped the D as part of the cutback. Yeah, I dropped a D size over the summer myself. <laughs> I've also shortened the Department of Health to the more appropriate Department of Hell. <laughs> 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 Huh? <coughs> no, lads, anyway. anyway. I, I, if I might uh, get in here, Tisha. Huh? No, Veruca, no West uh, Brits allowed to talk in cabinet. No, shut <laughs> up. Lads, on a serious note, <laughs> I've had divine intervention. I was sitting by the fire the other night. Burning another election promise? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and the master plan came to me. <gasps> you all know by now, you know, I put one over on the Pope the other week. <laughs> Who's your papa now, Benny? What? <laughs> <laughs> now, many people saw it as a clash between a firm, charismatic leader of the people <laughs> and a foolish old man in a dream. Dress. That was unfair. You weren't wearing a dress uh, at that particular time. No, you were wearing it that night, Brenda. What? <laughs> Touché. But, but anyway, now, it got me thinking about God and the cutbacks we could make up there. You, you think about it. There's God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Do we really need all three of them? It's like a quang God up there, Tisha. <laughs> it is, Dr. Riley. Ask them. The Father and the Son is the usual nepotism. Yes, Faruka. And sell off those gorgeous states in Nama. Correct and right, Dr. Phil. We should slap a walk on water tax on Christ. Correct, Dr. Noonan. I'm not a doctor. I've got a spin doctor. Uh, That's enough out of you, Gilbore. <laughs> Lads, I'm shattered here. No offence, Ellen. Any chance of a cup of tea? Huh? Where's Mitchell O'Connor with the tea? Uh, I think she's only driving in now, T. She's driving? <gasps> I thought I told you not to let her drive in again, Dr. Villon. Oh, George, yes. Harry's giving her a few lessons. She's trying to park the car on the plane, oh, 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 Move oh, away I from the window, Oh, oh Jesus, oh, Lance, she's coming for oh, Jesus, oh, me good office and me fecking hair room. Are okay? Oh, was she driving there anyway, Dr. Riley? A smart car t-shirt. Jesus, that's taking the piss, isn't it? <laughs> Every week, Miriam meets various people in the RTE canteen. This is Miriam Meets. You know, as in mutton and lamb. Oh, box. It's that garish weather woman. Miriam! Jane Byrne, how are you genuinely? Well, Mwah. Ooh. Mwah. Huh. beautiful bright colours, darling. Thank you. And despite the blustery conditions, 35 kilometres an hour in places, you know. Wow. I didn't know you came to the canteen. I'm here for Miriam Meats. Okay. Like deli meats? Oh, right. Four rashers, please, Olga. Bloody Latvians. What? Genuinely though, Jean, you're no stranger to dead animals yourself. You wear them in the weather most nights. I'm a devil for leather. And I just love that chrome leotard you had on after 6-1 yesterday. Thank you. I once wore it at the top of the Valencia Lighthouse. When the lamps broke during Hurricane Charlie, it was very cold and clammy that night. I remember it quite well. You are such a bright star. I best go. My yellow PVC pinafore is ready at wardrobe. That sounds really eye-catching. Bye, Bye Jean. <coughs> More like eye-watering. Why are those weather twits on screen anyway? Oh, God. Hello. Charlie Bloody Bird. Hi there. Oh, hello, Charlie. Oh, hello, yes, Marion. <sighs> it's Miriam. Charlie Bird is just on his way to his new radio show, live from Washington. Uh, Charlie, you're in Dublin. This is Charlie Bird, Washington. Back to you in the studio, Miriam. Oh, God. I have to be at the Lincoln Memorial in an hour. I have to meet my FBI contact. Where was I? Uh, Papandreou, Sarkozy, Mark. Where will it all end? I've a pain in me crevice with it. Right, uh, Chrissy, what have you got for me? Are You're you? looking very sexy, Vinny. Very ah. sexy and zed. Uh, okay, what have we got? Here? Jesus, Chrissy. First purple and oh, uh, then chestnut. That, that's pink. Oh. That's it. Why, Chrissy? Why? Why the Annabelle? I want to know why my hair resembles Marty Beetlejuice Morrissey from RTE. Uh, why? Back off, Vinny. Huh? I was out to all hours last night. Uh. I'm not the steadiest at the moment. Oh, well, don't put that bloody scissors near me then. Jesus. Don't think you can harangue sandwich me like uh. you did to that old Mount Borton wagon. I said I wanted a blue rinse, Chrissy, not a purple slash ah, pink Jesus, rinse. Ah, Jesus, don't worry, Mr. Oh. Brown, you look proper gorgeous, you do. Well, Almost well. as sexy as that Mitchell O'Connor one. Ah, don't remind me about her, that mountain of a molehill she made out of and called Miss Piggy. Big deal, what come on. What are you now. on about? Yeah, women go on about this all stuff all Say the time. Say too, nah. If you want How to, dare it, you? What would you know about it anyway, Chrissy? We fell about all about it in the world. Ah, uh, who's that over there? Huh? Oh, my God. 
God, look what you've done to Twink. Ah, uh, you might remember last year, Fianna Foyle's thinking ended up in the drunk tank. This week, the soldiers of yesteryear met in Tala for a septic think tank. For God's sake, Mihal, I eat the food, mm. it gets digested, and I am normally in the habit of pushing it out through my bottom. <laughs> what are you laughing at, me? No, 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 nothing at all. The, 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 the dev, I think Dr. Phil's plan uh, to tax septic tanks for people living in the countryside is a rage against the, 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 the latrine. Oh. Well, I, for one, am willing to go to jail <laughs> before paying for this toilet tax. <laughs> it's a disgrace. Uh, uh, that would be a, a dirty protest. Yes. We get the shinners involved for sure. Right? Oh. And by the way, I, I mm. see that you're uh, developing a bit of a thing for. For Mary Lou lately. Mary Lou. Oh, With a name like that, she must be sound on the toilet question. <laughs> and a fine cut of a woman she is, too. Oh. No, 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 going for I, I think I can hear Lauros and his oh. Talakaley band coming along for our septic think tank entertainment. What? Yeah. Where's the free bird? Well, we've, th- th- we've done that this year. I have some Marietta biscuits and some My Wadi Aran. Oh, we had some crack last year, lads, and you think of it. Wish. Uh, I think Lauros and his cultist colleagues are going to perform the Siege of Venice. Sounds more like the Siege of Cork. <laughs> <laughs> going forward. No, 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 the heel. Uh? Going backwards. <laughs> Suffering. <laughs> Cross Channel now and odd jobbing soccer coaches Steve Staunton and Roy Keane meet every morning at the Job Centre. All credit to the Job Centre. How are you, Stan? Well, they are, Roy. Anything moving today? 3.35 at Newmarket. No, sure. jobs-wise, like jobs. Well, you know, I get a few hours at Sunderland, but I have no dignity in my job here, Roy. You know? well, these are difficult times. Yeah. Mm, uh, so much immigration. Terrible. I heard poor Robbie Keane had to leave the country for work. Yeah, I talked to wife and child with him as well. Very sad there, mm, Roy. man over here can't find work to keep petrol in his Ferrari. No. Oh, here's one. Look at this. What? That's from Manager of Iceland, Roy. What's wrong with that? Well, you Freezing, know. desolate island, full of miserable people in the grip of economic meltdown. It'll remind me of home. Mm. What about the volcanoes. I like to blow my top too, Stan. True. Nothing wrong with that. Well. And like Iceland, I like to make sure everyone knows about it. Well, there's a lot of dangerous geezers up there, Roy. You'd want to No be. problem. I knew plenty of geezers in Manchester. Well, give it a bash if you're interested. Oh, yeah. Now, are you coming out on big issue duty with me today? No, not today. I promised I'd bring the young fella to the pictures. He loves the films. He's a spoiled pup there, Roy. He's hardly a pup, Stan. Triggs is nearly eight years old. All right. See you next week. You tell me. Huh? <laughs> True art, they say, is cast in the crucible of our own experience. Ireland's unofficial poet laureate, Joseph O'Connor, finds inspiration in his own sister. Ah, I'm coming. Oh no. Oh brother, are you writing that dirge for drive time again? Sinead, I told you not to interrupt. You know, I really don't get your column, but I wish I was getting it. You know what I mean? What do you want, Sinead? Listen, bro, I've hatched a plan to get some serious action. I'm running for president. No. I know you're thinking she can't be old enough to run, but I am. So I'm going to throw my ring into the hat. You mean your hat into the ring? I know what I'm saying. Think of all those dignitaries visiting me. No more bloody Listoon Varna. Big house in the park for all the kids. Candle in the window for all the desperate. You mean the diaspora? No, the desperate. Those who get up on the crack of dawn. Anyway, Joe, I need a snappy slogan for my presidency campaign, and this is where you come in. Like what? Mitchell and Davis both came up with the same pride at home respect abroad crap well I was thinking maybe Mm. ride at home respect abroad ah Sinead for the love of you I don't wanna be no man's woman I can't do this right now I just want a hairy man of my own I don't feel well Joe Joe oh man Dika It's almost 5.30 in Mumbai where the Talk Talk call centre has received a recent jobs boost from Waterford, Ireland. Welcome to Talk Talk. My name is Brian. We value your call. Please continue to hold. The representative will wish you shortly. (laughs) Ah, 
is nearly finished in time again. Lovely. Mr. Cowan, what are you doing? Well, I'm done for the day, boss. It's nearly half past five. But you're on a night shift and you're only here half an hour. What That's it? twice the hours I did at home, Baldy. I <laughs> told you not to call me that. Are huh? you pretending to put people on hold, Mr. Cowan? That, that's not true, Baldy. Look, you're always at me. That is because you are only reaching 5% of your targets before. Don't call me that. that. That's racist. And by the way, we have still not received that reference from your previous employers. Well, you see, huh? there's about 4 million of them and they're very hard to get a howl of, you know. You inherited the best track record of any department here at Talk Talk. Well, You're only a wet week here and you've already run it into the ground. Disgraceful. Well, that's not my fault. It was because of the global situation, the financial crisis, if you will, going forward. Well, I've had enough, Mr. Cowan. You are fired. Ah, thanks be the jabbers. Right, well, give me me severance pay and the pension benefits. Oh, oh what? and I'm keeping the f***ing car. Don't get out! Excuse me, Nerero. Paul, what are you doing in those jeans? I was just wondering, you think, uh, like, it's a good look for me picture in the match program tomorrow, like, no? I no? don't like those rips, Paul. Why not? Dreadful, dreadful looking. That's the fashion, like, you're not into the fashion, what's cool. Paul, like. that is not right for a pen picture. Well, I went commando and everything, like, I thought it was a decent thing to do, you know. Is it too revealing, maybe? It just isn't right. And people are always at me saying me tackle is too rough. Is that what you would think as well? <laughs> Coming all the way back from filming X Factor to see you at the match. Is there any way you can get me into D2 Nightclub? Well, I won't get you into Crystal anyway, Louis. <laughs> anyway, let's focus on getting your photo right for the match program. Right. Set it an hour, so you're ready with the camera. Yes! You've got the full package, Paul. You really do. Well, thanks for this, lads. You know, Senator, are you sure the John Galliano t shirt is tight enough to show me pecs like? Yeah? Oh, yes. Now, now clench those buns, Paul. Yeah. All right, yeah, like this. Yeah. Yeah. Spread them now, spread them. Wow. Well, but... Think Sharon Stone and Basic instinct. That's it. That's it. <laughs> oh my God! This was perfect. This is exactly what the GAA need. That's a wrap, Paul. Uh, all right, lads. Think I better get out of these jeans before uh, I pull the hamstring. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh my word! <coughs> they're not coming off. Oh, they're stuck on you! I shouldn't have vacuum packed them on this morning. Ooh. Come on, lads! I need your help here. Now pull these <laughs> off. Grab a hold of them. Of course, get in here, Louis. <laughs> yeah, oh, come yeah. on. Okay. Right. You grab the left one. Now and put your back okay. into Ready? it, boys. Now right? pull together. Oh, oh Jesus! Oh. Oh. Get the left leg. You go in the right. Crazy! Oh. Oh. Fucking hell, lads. This is not cool. This is not cool at all. So there you have it. The tea, like the Celtic tiger, is long off the boil. We've drained the bitter cup. What's left is the dregs. Cold, soggy old tea leaves. But at least I can watch the Brogan Brothers in Croke Park tomorrow. Until next week, slow on August. Up the dubs! I heard that, Norero. Are you still in those jeans, Paul? No, I'm taking him off to A&E to have his jeans removed. Oh, for goodness sake, Senator Norris.